So right now is a time where there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, you know, I know that our minds look for data points in the past to draw on to deal with situations. And I don't think anybody really has an effective data point to go back to and learn how to deal with what we're dealing with now with COVID-19 and the economy and the current situation in the, in the world. And so, you know, what I go back to is I try to get back to my own center. Um, you know, I have a life that includes a set of spiritual principles that I like to live by. And, and you know, my, I believe that my behaviors are what dictate the outcomes in my life much more so than the way that I feel. And so I, I try to stay connected to healthy behaviors things that have been guiding forces in my life. So my spiritual practice of praying in the morning, um, of doing some meditation, uh, of being healthy. You know, I got outside and I went for a run this morning, which is great. Um, I'm in my office today catching up on some work um, and getting some things done for some clients, continuing to see how I can be of service to other people. I've been on the phones a lot with people that have a lot of real life issues uh, that they're having to deal with. And I've had my own real life issues to deal with. Um, you know, this, this economy um, and the nuances of the world are affecting everybody differently. And I think the, the word is, is faith and gratitude, uh, where you can find it is really important um, because we all have a lot to be grateful for um, despite what's happening. Um, but more important is to just not give, um, you know, the negative stuff that's going on too much power. Um, it is it is happening and, and we don't want to deny that. You know, I don't anyways. Um, but, you know, what matters is the, the actions that I take. And as long as I continue to take healthy actions that are consistent with the values that I have for my life, the more I can trust that everything ultimately will be OK. The other word that comes to mind for me is adaptation. You know, um, there's two things I don't like. Um, I don't like change and I don't like the way things are. Right. And so as I face both of those being challenged right now, I'm learning to make myself more vulnerable, to make myself more adaptable, um, to interfacing with people in different ways and, and doing different things. Um, I've, I've never attended a Zoom meeting before, and I had a Zoom conference call the other day um, with some clients, um, and I found that to be you know very productive. Um, so just challenging myself to continue to get outside of my comfort zone, which is kind of being forced upon us right now, all of us, um, and finding really unique ways for me to take care of myself, um, you know, to, to maintain my equilibrium and to not get too uh, caught up in either end of the spectrum, either, either negative or positive, and just stay kind of neutral and, you know, continue to, as I always have, live, you know, each day as it is and as it unfolds. You know, every day has, its, has a life of its own and, and every situation has a beginning, a middle and an end. And, you know, I try not to make rash decisions or large decisions when I'm in the beginning of a, of a situation. I try to just pause and, and let things unfold a little bit and, and be cautious and be pragmatic, um, relying on a lot of my mentors in these situations, you know, just to run stuff by them and, and to talk to them and, and getting a lot of phone calls myself from people that want to run stuff by me and bounce stuff off of me, um, which is healthy, you know, and, and I'm not here and we don't often have to fix anything. We just have to listen uh, and allow people to find their own solution, which is empowering. Um, I believe in, in an internal locus of control. What that means is that I'm responsible. I'm responsible for the life that I have. I'm responsible for the decisions I make. I'm responsible for what I do. And I'm also responsible for what I don't do. You know, I, I choose to really avoid giving negative thoughts too much attention. Uh, I definitely try not to verbalize them best I can. I find that to create a more of a disruption and avoid and gets my mind focused down that groove of negative thinking. And so I, I try to avoid negative thinking because uh, as I've learned in a lot of the work that I've done, a lot of the studying that I've done, that negative thinking works all the time and it always works negative. It's really hard to be positive right now and to find anything to be positive about. Um, but it is absolutely achievable to find healthy, good things to do. Um, and so, you know, I'm continuing to focus on those, um, continuing to focus on managing and dealing with the, the everyday stresses in my life and, and really trying to continue to think about how I can help other people. Um, and so, you know, I don't have really any magic bullet or any special pill that we can take. There's no hack for this. Um, it's about, you know, adaptability. 
It's about finding time to be quiet with yourself and, and not avoiding the uncomfortableness. You know, um, one of my mentors, George Mumford, um, who's studied mindfulness for decades, you know, always reminds me to, to, to find a way to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And I don't think that that's ever been more uh, applicable than it is right now, you know, to really find a way to just realize that I'm uncomfortable, that, you know, there's, there's situations out there that I'm not used to and that, that I'll grow from this. Uh, and that's all I'm trying to do. Uh, and I hope, you know, that, that all of us out there continue to reflect internally and realize that we're ultimately going to have the life that, that we want based on the choices that we make. And we'll definitely have a life that we don't want if we make bad choices. And so avoiding bad choices in these situations is way more powerful than even making good choices if that's all I can do. And sometimes that's all I can do is just agree not to make bad choices um, and to live by the values that I have for myself and, and the way that I treat other people. Uh, it's kind of like back, back to basics, you know, um, back to some of those principles we learned early on in our lives you know if you don't have anything good to say about anybody don't say anything at all you know um treat other people as you would like to be treated yourself you know those simple tenets in life seem to serve us really well in these uncertain times so that's what I'm, I'm trying to do um and and put a smile on my face and try to enjoy the moments that i do have with loved ones and and friends um and that's what i hope for uh, for all of you 